show you how to make this really cute beehive using an Easter egg, some rope, artificial flowers, and little bee buttons. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. Alrighty, let's get started. So this is the day after Easter. And if you're like me, you are out running around all day long today, hitting various stores, trying to scarf up all of the Easter supplies, crafts, whatever clearance stuff that you could find. Now, I got these big plastic eggs. These came from Walmart. They were like surprise eggs. They had like a little stuffed animal inside of them. But you don't have to use this one. You can use whatever size egg you want. I just happen to have a handful of these. So, you're going to have that sitting over there. You're going to need a pack of this decorative nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need some cute little bees. Okay, these are buttons. I got these Joann's. Um, Walmart has some, not this particular style, but you know, they have some little bees. If you can find any other type of little bee that you want to stick on here, you know, you use whatever it is that you want to use. You're going to need a good pair of scissors and I can't find my scissors because I lose every pair of scissors I get. So at the moment, I've got these little tiny things. You're going to need a high temp glue gun. Now, low temp usually does not work very well with this rope at all. That's why I'm saying high temp for this. You're going to need that, and you're going to need some glue sticks. I only use Gorilla brand. Yes, it is a little bit better than any of the other brands out there. No, I'm not sponsored. This is my favorite glue gun because it has a precision nozzle, and this also comes off, and it came with a bunch of other little nozzles that you can screw into it. So, you're going to take your egg apart throw its little bottom over there and we're going to use the top part that is really really domed like this now to start off with let me open my rope and of course it's got this little doohickey right here oh maybe those scissors aren't as bad as i thought they were and now one end of this here we go this is the free end one end has a piece of tape on it i'm actually gonna cut that off Oh my gosh, scissors. Look, when I'm working on this, I have got to go find my other scissors. Okay, this is terrible. I can't deal with that. <laughs> Dog clippers would work better than these things. So I'm going to get this blob of glue off. I want to start right here on the bottom. And I'm just going to glue this rope all the way around the egg. I'm going to start at the very, very bottom and try to keep it as close to the edge as possible. Now with this um, Gorilla Glue, it's got like a 45 second working time. So it does take a few seconds, you know, for it to set up and really stick. So you're just gonna have to put your glue and then hold it in place, glue a little bit more and hold it in place like so. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work my way all the way around the base and then come up like this and then just keep spiraling the rope around and around and around, you know, of course, packing it down tightly until I get up here to the top. And then I'm just going to put a blob of glue, spiral it around, stick it down and trim it away. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you all that when I come back. So I'm gonna work on this. And when I get back up to the top, like I said, I'll show you how I'm going to do that. And I'll show you how I'm going to make like a little hole type deal to look like the bees are flying in. So hold on just a minute. Alrighty, so this is what we have so far. And I'm all the way back up at the top. And now all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a blob of glue. And I'm going to just spiral it around and hold it in place for a few seconds until it can start to harden up. And I still can't find my good scissors, y'all. You know, I guess if one of my kids comes up with half of his hair missing, then I'll know where the scissors went. But right now, I can't find them. And this rope is so hard to cut with. I don't even know where these things cut from. Whoever made these scissors, y'all be ashamed of yourself. All right, I think this is done. Now on this one, I am not gonna put a bottom, okay? I don't want a bottom on it. Let's see if I can spiral that around just a little bit more. No, I think that looks pretty good. You know what? I'm just going to cut it off right here. Um, like I said, I don't want a bottom on this because I want it to sit on a table. But if you're going to put it on a wreath, um, me and my friend Meg was talking. Hi, Meg. Me and my friend Meg was talking about, you know, what to put on the bottom. 
and she suggested like, you know, what, just gluing a coaster to the bottom, you know, that'll work, like just gluing a coaster or, um, taking a piece of cardboard. This is what I came up with a round piece of cardboard and just gluing it to the bottom. And then you could take the rope and just glue it to the cardboard and spiral it out. You know, if you want to, if that, if that's what you want to do with yours, if you want a bottom on it. But anyway, now I'll need to put like the little entrance. See how cute that is? Put like the little entrance to where the bees will go in and out. And I've been thinking about how I want to do that. You could cut a circle out of a piece of felt and stick on there. But I here have a handy dandy Sharpie marker, which I'm going to use. And actually, I'm just going to draw. Where's the back? All right, I want that to be the back. Don't laugh at my circle drawing abilities, okay? Because I'm just going to try to draw roughly where I want it to be. Kind of right in there. Okay, so now I'm going to take my rope. Let's glue it down, just starting right here. And now I'm just going to glue this rope down, kind of going in a circle to make that look like the entrance. And like I said, this glue does take a few seconds to hold. So we're just going to glue it around, glue it around. Our little bees got to have somewhere to go, y'all. And then when I have this rope glued down, I'm just going to go back into the inside and color that in with the marker. Okay, so that might take me a minute to get that all colored in. Um, I did look through my felt stash over here and I'm like, Dad gummit, you know, I don't I don't have any felt. Can y'all see this? I don't have any felt to um to use with this. So alright, let's get this all glued down. Oh, I don't want that blob of glue there. Don't do it. There we go. Alright. So I'm just gonna cut this rope here glue it down and then i'm going to color the inside in with my sharpie as exciting as that is so let me work on that one more time and then i'll come back and we're going to glue on our little bees here so hold on for one more minute please all right that's the last time that i'm going to pause the video i promise all right so this is how much i have left out of that pack of the the Dollar Tree nautical rope and I did look on the package and it said 13 feet I know some people are saying that on um, the packaging is getting smaller and it is on some things the mesh has gone down to four yards from five and this was 13 feet so um check your packaging all right let's open up these little bees here take a look oh look there's like a two two different kinds here but there's those and then these here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wire cutters. I'm just going to cut the back off of them like that and like that. These poor little bees. I'm just hacking our little backs off. And there's that one. All right, let's, let's do one more here. All right, get out of the way. So this is what we have. See, I colored in the inside and I put this little circle of rope around it. And now we have the part here where the rope comes together. But you know what? I'm going to cover that up with a little bee. Yeah, oh my, of course I would pick one up that I didn't cut the back off of. Y'all see that? All right. All of y'all that's got the loopies on the back, get out of my way. Let's see, which one should I put? Should I put him? Or should I put his little friend here? Let's put this little guy. This is cute. Oh. Let's put this little guy. So I'm just going to put a big old blob of glue All right here. And you know what? While I was waiting for this glue to fully set up, I was looking around. I've got some artificial flowers from the Dollar Tree. So I'm like, should I put some flowers on here or not? You know, like just to spruce it up. It's going in my house. I mean, you know, I guess I'll put what I want to on it. But <laughs> I talk to y'all. Let's put some more little bees on here. But y'all know me. I will put glitter and ribbon and rhinestones and flowers. And I'll just bedazzle the heck out of something. All right, let's put him look like he's flying this way. He wants to leave. He's sick of this. He's getting out of the hive. He's gone. All right, so now I like these better, actually. This this little design here, I like it better. All right, I'm going to put another one of them, let's say, right here. 
Oh, they are busy, y'all. There's a bunch of them a-flying. Okay, so now I've got these flowers. And you know what? Watch me ruin the whole darn thing by putting flowers on it. Let's cut these flowers off. Okay, I've got a handful of these. And I really just wanted something just to give a little, you know. So I want to put, please hold still. I think I want to put one of those, one or two of those there maybe. And I want, let's take some greenery. I'm just going to pull his little head off. I want to take the greenery off of that flower and put here. And maybe put a couple little white flowers. Like I said, this is going in my house. I could put what I want to on it. Y'all don't have to put the flowers on it. Y'all can just stop with the bees. You don't even have to put bees on it. And I get a lot of questions say, well, can I, like if I make something that's pink, you know, somebody will say, well, can I make it blue? Yes, darling. You can make whatever color you want. And if you don't like what I'm making, you know, by all means, change it up a little bit. But anyway, this is all I'm doing. Come on. There we go. Squeeze the trigger, Amber, and the glue will come out. Mm-mm-mm. All right. So, these poor little squished flowers. All right. I'm going to stick this on there. I think I'm just going to cut this little plastic nub off. Oh, Lord. Watch me destroy it. Anyway, let's put a blob of glue and I'm just gonna stick it there and I'm gonna hold it down. Cause like I explained earlier about this glue, you gotta hold it in place for a few seconds. But I think that this is pretty cute. Of course, this glue ain't gonna work with me right now so I can show y'all. Get out the way. But here we go. Here's our little beehive with our little bees. And like I said earlier, you can use whatever size of Easter egg you want to. You can make a really, really big one. You can make a little one, whatever you wanna do. It is up to you. I made a rhymey. And I'm going to put a B right there. Yes, I am. But anyway, I hope that you liked this video. I enjoyed making it. If you would, please check out my new channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.